Hello Audacious Church and welcome to church. Um, the observant among you will notice that I'm still in the car park outside our fantastic church building. Um, we've had a great day at church today. I'm recording this on Sunday. I'm just waiting for my children um, at the all-in service in the evening. Just taking some time out to uh, record this video for you. I hope it finds you and yours well. Um, it's so good to be able to share with you just a few thoughts on a passage of scripture verse that's been really special to me during my life and it's Ephesians 2 and it's the first 10 verses. I'd encourage you to read all the 10 verses if you can as part of your day. You will not be disappointed. Um, I just want to focus on two of those verses, verses 4 and 5, just to bring you my thoughts for today. And it goes like this, but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in trespasses and sins. It is by grace we have been saved. I'm going to say that again because it's worth repeating. It's the word of God and if I don't say anything else today, it's the word of God in our day today, which makes a difference. I'm going to say it again. But because of his great love for us, that's you and me, this morning, this afternoon, whatever time you are watching this or engaging with this, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive in Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions and sins. It is by grace we have been saved. And that last phrase, it is by grace we have been saved, that great five letter word, G-R-A-C-E, that unique selling point of the Christian faith, not how many doors we knock or how good we are, how many leaflets we post or how many Hail Marys we say or how many good things we do. It is by grace we have been saved. And we've been thinking about the cross in the last few weeks at church, about the centrality of the cross. And what does the cross speak of primarily? It speaks of grace. Now, when I was growing up in church, um, it was an acronym that I was taught. And I'll leave this, acr uh, this acronym with you today. God's G, riches are at a Christ's C, expense E. God's riches at Christ's expense. There was no other good enough to pay the price of sin. Only he could unlock the gate and let us all in and thank God today for his grace because I know how poor I am I know how sinful I am I know how selfish I am I know how much I foul up every single day but every single day God's grace and his mercy and his faithfulness are brand new to me and to you every single morning so if you're listening to the lie of the devil to say you know that saying to you today you're not good enough then yes say to the devil devil you're right i'm not good enough but i know a man i know a god i know a jesus who is more than good enough and his righteousness by the miracle of grace by the miracle of the cross and the resurrection his righteousness becomes mine and therefore I can stand in this holy place and speak to God and be with God and be in relationship with him. It is by grace we have been saved. We will never ever be good enough but God loves you enough to give it to you as a free gift today. So I hope that's really encouraged you. Read Ephesians Ephesians 2 um, verses 1 to 10 all the way through and let the truth of those verses drop the foot from the head to the heart because that's when the word of God makes all the difference when it finds root in our hearts and bears the fruit that only he can make happen so have the best day church to, I've been John Shelton outside church and I hope you have a best day today Thank you.